gotten some new Star Citizen news. In this video, we're going to go over the latest patch notes for Star Citizen Alpha 3.20. And also, we've gotten a post on Spectrum pertaining to some of the quality of life updates they made to 320 that was not even found in the patch notes. I'm Phase One and I do Star Citizen content. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get straight into it. Pertaining to the latest 320 patch notes, it's for wave two right now. So that means wave one and wave two have access to it. So under the feature updates, under the gameplay category, they mentioned that they've added combat login timers along with 320. We have added a new combat login mechanic to avoid as much of the issue as possible with this updated mechanic. While a player is in combat and outside of a green zone, their player and ship will remain in the PU for a short period after exiting the game fully or to the menu. This also comes with a warning while exiting to the menu to make sure that you're in a safe area before leaving as it will leave your ship and character vulnerable at the location they left the server. That is good. Hopefully this goes well. I think it will be a good quality of life update pertaining to combat logging itself. I know that a lot of people do that. Um, just to avoid fights before we move forward i'd like the new people to know that we're doing a giveaway for the month of september this time it's the aurora mr in order to participate all you have to do is be subscribed and leave a comment in any video between the month of september let's move on so up next they've added options to allow comms calls from only friends so that is good so no more of those random calls that you get in the pu from random players under the ships and vehicles category, they mentioned that they made an update to the ship quantum HUD alignment. It says we have done a full pass on all ships to make sure all quantum HUDs have been properly aligned in view. Along with this, much of the quantum UI has been removed to be a much cleaner and removed unnecessary elements until a full future quantum HUD update. So that's good, man. That's good. The previous quantum HUD has been quite annoying. So it's good to see that they're making some updates on it. So now pertaining to the Argo mode, they made some improvements to the pilot seat. So they've added the ability for the pilot in the Argo mode to use the ship's mining scanners. This will not allow the pilot to use the lasers from the seat, but will give the pilot the much needed information directly while scanning mineables. It was a huge uh, deterrent to using the mode because yeah, you don't see exactly what rocks you're approaching. And you actually depend on the turrets to actually let you know what exactly is on the rock and, and, and things of that nature. So this is a good update. They've also greatly increased the internal storage of the Drake Corsair. That's actually some good news right there for Corsair owners. All right. So under the bug fix category, they fixed an issue where the character becomes invisible due to not being bound on other client machines. That's good. They fixed the vis area issue on the main elevators on the Miss Hall C. When docking, the audio can become stuck in a loop and loudly blast through the front of the ship's deck. So that's pertaining to the Aegis Hammerhead. So that's a good update right there. The interaction mode does not work properly with custom mouse binding button 4 and 5. They fixed the misaligned inventory items on widescreen resolutions. Lobby no longer work for other players when the host exits the menu during a match. So that's been fixed for Arena Commander and that's pertaining to all the modes. Player names will be duplicated after joining a lobby and be counted twice client side. That's actually annoying so I'm glad that they fixed that. The map selection menu is not displayed by default. That's a nice fix for a reading commander. And under classic rates again it says lap counts are wrong in offline mode. So that's been fixed. And in Star Marine, in the last stand mode, there is a chance that the capture box are not showing the correct size or not showing at all to some clients. So that's a good fix. In this patch comes with two client crashes, one server crash, and they've replaced the ocean tessellation with screen size based solution to improve planetary performance anything that helps with performance is good in my eyes can't complain about that all right up next is the star system alpha 3.20 quality of life updates from the mission feature team 
The first thing that they mentioned here is that there is a global initiative to focus on a variety of quality of life changes and fixes. So that is good. So here's a list that's coming along with 320. The first one says destroy stash. Previously, this mission spawned hundreds of individual boxes, but with the help of new code, we now spawn pallets that come with drug box loadouts alongside significantly improved performance and reliability. This method allows the team to control the number of pallets spawning for different mission difficulties. Under Cargo Manifest, it says in 319, we added Cargo Manifest in Bounty Assassination and Salvage Missions. However, there was a bug that stopped these from achieving their full potential. This has been fixed for 320. Up next, it says full variety for combat missions, most quantum travel capable ships were added to the pool of spotable vehicles however some that don't make sense were omitted for example criminals won't use a drake cutlass blue as a part of this work the game's ship were divided into difficulty bands derived from data gathered by pinning every ship against each other a thousand times that is interesting honestly if i was a criminal i would use a cutlass blue it has all the tools i need man <laughs> but uh, that's just me up next, it says fingers off the keyboard. The hacking prevention counter mission can now be accepted by more than one player. This should see more people coming to stop the hacking without allied players being able to soft lock them. So that's good that they updated that. Next is take away food. It says we fixed an issue where players couldn't store food or drink items when they were inspecting them or they were settled on the ground. So that's a good fix. The inventory system has actually been pretty annoying, so I'm glad that they're making some updates to it. Next is the ledge grab. I think some of you guys probably already experienced it. It says your mission features worked with the active features to enable the ledge grab feature in the PU. Seeing it through the QA and go no go processes, this allows players to grab on ledges while mid air, significantly improving climbing and allowing players to reach ship entrances that were previously out of reach. They also made a pass on the prison escape mission alongside the NAPU team to ensure that the new feature could be used in its fullest. That is awesome. That is awesome stuff. Yeah, this definitely helps with the prison escape missions as well. Up next, it says stays between friends. Players will not be classed as hostile to all when attacking their own party member. This will prevent things like security and turrets from opening fire on, on parties just playing around. So that's good. Next is no need to run. We made impound timers less lenient since the removal of Olisar means there are no longer ATC control landing pads right next to each other. The time spent trespassing in a landing area is also remembered for a time to prevent it from being reset by constantly dipping in and out. Done for today, salvage missions can now be abandoned per player without the mission being pulled from the party members. We have experienced this before and I'm glad they're making these updates here pertaining to parties and missions. Next is 50% scraped. It says salvage missions can now be abandoned and as long as more than 50% of the target ship's hull has been scraped. They will count as completed. This allows players to only have to salvage half of the smaller ships to unlock medium ships. Yeah, I was really annoyed with this when I started doing the salvage scrape missions. It, sometimes it wouldn't even complete to 100%, so you couldn't even get to the next level. So I'm glad they're making these changes here. Next is Rudo Returns. We fixed an issue that blocked players from getting missions from Rudo. Next it says, but you're not guilty. It says changes have been made to the start of prison escape route to ensure players cannot break into the main prison via conventional means. Interesting. Next is get off my lawn. We've added a screen notification to the trespass system to tell players which faction owns the area they are entering. That is a good update. All right, guys, you guys already know what to do. Leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.